Holy crap, you guys. Let me be the first to say that I did not see this job coming in 7.0. Don't worry about spoilers, my Sprout friends, since this is all new for all of us and have nothing to do with the previous expansion in a sense. Also, congrats to Cole Enix. He had guessed this job and it's a happy thought for him as it reminds him of his Nana. So make sure to give him some love on his video. Pictomancer is our new range magical DPS job working in the medium of mixed ether wielding a special brush to basically do damage and support your team. This will be a balanced job of support and buffs and damage with no res, meaning summoner and red mage still have a really strong reason to come to endgame as the only two other classes that have reses other than healers. Which means you'll still see them in prog and endgame content for their utility. They allude that Pictomancer is going to have some pretty decent cast times with instant casts in between. This reminds me of two different jobs, Red Mage with the dual cast, casting and then having an instant cast, and then also Bard where you kind of have these songs and then you have instant cast while your songs are going. So I'm kind of wondering if it's a mixture between the both in terms of play style. We do kind of see certain attacks have different colors, so I'm kind of assuming that we're going to rotate through a certain part of abilities, and when you're on a specific color, you might have a different instacast. Though I hope it isn't too similar to Summoner in that way. Let's talk about imagery. This is giving Splatoon vibes for me, which isn't a bad thing, but definitely not something I am used to seeing or thought I'd see in Final Fantasy XIV. This job kind of brings a lightness to the other jobs and rounds out playability, I think, for a lot of people. I think a lot of people have love for Blue Mage for its randomness and decent visuals and abilities, but it is limited, so you can't really use it in playable content in the same way as other jobs. I think Pictomancer is going to be along those same lines, except it's actually playable in content. I am personally not a fan of this kind of art style and almost cartoony look, and the outfit itself is kind of dorky. <laughs> but with that, there is literally a Moogle solar beam. Like, what is not to love about that? So I'm definitely playing this job as soon as it comes out. If not for any other reason, to give you guys job guides and controller guide setups for it. The cryo imagery of it in the trailer is absolutely insane. And I love cryos getting more of a substantiated position in the game as it's a very loved scion. One of the seemingly negative perceptions of Pictomancer that I've seen in comments are colorblind players who are worried and apprehensive about the actual playability for colorblind people. I think Final Fantasy XIV does a really good job about this and I can't imagine that they're going to ignore this aspect of the job design and they do a pretty good job with current jobs in the game. Astrologian is one of these examples where when you're summoning a card, if it's pink, it goes to range. If it's blue, it goes to melee. Now, even though that's a really easy way to see what card goes where, they also have these symbols on the side of the card that help you determine. So if you can't tell if it's pink or blue, you can still tell by these symbols. I think Pictomancer is going to probably have something along the same line. So I'm not really worried about colorblind people not being able to enjoy this job to its fullest extent. Honestly, this isn't a job I didn't even realize was on the docket for coming as everyone was screaming green mage and other mage types. So I'm interested to see on how this job is going to fit in with the new story and get my hands on their rotations and abilities so then I can make some videos for it. What do we think? I give an A for creativeness on the job and I really look forward to blasting people with Moogle beams. Speaking of limited jobs, it does look like we are getting Beastmaster in the latter part of 7.0. We were speculating if they were going to add another limited job and Blue Mage continues to get updates. So I'm really interested to see how Beastmaster is going to play out or if it's going to be a little bit more like we're going to go and capture monsters and then use those somehow and absorb them to create abilities for ourselves. Now, rather Final Fantasy has the formula that's going to work for Dawn Trail, which I will have a video coming out talking about just that and if it's actually going to work. The jobs that are coming out seem really exciting and really interesting. Thank you to my monthly Patreon, Discord, and YouTube members as your monthly donations really make this channel possible. I am going to start streaming again on Tuesdays from 12 to 4 p.m. PST time, so I look forward to seeing you guys there. And if you want to watch more Final Fantasy guides and content, you can click here.